Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. Today I'm going to review a filament from matterhackers.com. It's a Pro Series PETG filament. I purchased this filament the other day on their Black Friday sale and this review is totally my own review thoughts on the filament. I didn't get any information or payment from matterhackers for doing this review. So it's uh, totally just my thoughts on the filament I bought with my own money. So let's have a look after the intro. So this spool of filament is a one pound spool I bought from Matterhackers and it's a nice black plastic spool and has a blue uh, filament in it and the color is excellent. As you can see it's very shiny filament and I really like the, the color of it and even though it prints not as shiny as the spool itself but I really like the color of it. Like a mid range of blue darkness color. It's not too dark color. So my first thought on this filament was this being a one pound spool and the pricing quite expensive compared to PLA but I haven't done really a price comparison between other manufacturers of, of patchy filaments so I'm not sure if it's a expensive uh, spool or not for a patchy <laughs> but I, I noticed the price was quite high compared to the PLA but I printed out several things with this filament to test it, test it out initially and, and then some prints just to see the finish look of it and, and how I would find it to be difficult or easy to print with. So let's have a look at a few samples. So the first print I did was a temperature tower and found out that at 240 degrees the print was as, at its nicest looking. Uh, the state on the website that the print temperature should be 230 to 255 degrees and somewhere in the, in the middle of that uh, was working quite good for me so I stuck with 240 degrees with the rest of the prints and I break this apart usually to see how the layer adhesion is and it had pretty good layer adhesion and it's, it's quite difficult to to break it apart even at the lower temperatures so layer adhesion for this filament is is quite good even at the lower temperature i went to 220 degrees at the top one and, and it's quite quite good layer adhesion so that uh, feature of the filament is is true it's has very good layer adhesion the next print i did was a, a positive test to find out if it was very stringy and from my result of the build series pla issue here with the material like some built up of material on the hot end that came out and doesn't look very good when it comes it's like half burnt or something like a blob stuck on the hot end uh, getting loose or something and I saw this uh, happening in other prints as well uh, sometimes I got this uh, blob of dark burnt filament and then tried out this test print and uh, for most part it uh, came out quite good the overhangs uh, came out very good and the only part of this print that didn't show up very well was was the breathing test it actually broke off it was very thin and, and uneven and, and, and didn't perform well in this breathing test because the poles on the on this test are very thin but other than that this came out pretty good there was uh, at one place a blob uh, like a dark blob i think i removed it it was here in inside the dome and i just scraped it off so there's like some build up of material on the hot end that gets loose uh, I guess because of stringing issues and the next print I did was a, a bridging test and I actually broke off uh, the top piece bridging on this test came out pretty nice the longest spritz was not so bad at all it didn't droop to a bad situation there was no special issues so bridging capability can be okay I guess the bridging test on, on this test piece is just very thin and, and not very reliable because the, the part that the bridging is built upon is, is very thin so if that fails the bridge will not happen but here the part is better built up and, and the bridge test came out pretty good. The next print was a, 
like a tolerance test. All the pieces just fell through, and there's a, a small blob on on one or, or two of the pieces. But uh, the tolerances in the holes were all very good, and uh, it didn't get stuck in any of the holes. They just came out straight away, so that was uh, not an issue. And then. Uh, printed out this overhang test and it goes from 30 degrees to 45 to 60 to 70 and in the 60 range it began to get a little bit worse but not uh, not so bad and here's another black uh, burnt filament blob that came out and in the 70 degrees it is a little bit worse than the 60 degrees but uh, 45 degrees is is very good so I guess uh, everything over 45 degrees is, is difficult for this filament. And just for fun, I, I printed out the fan shroud for the MK3 printer and just to get a functional part uh, printed out and see how it came out. And it came out pretty well. I, I cleaned out a little bit of stringing inside here. And here's another dark blob of filament that is like bur burnt. So those. Uh, come out regularly and I read online that that is just a part of patchy stringing uh, issue that filament tends to get stuck on the hot end and, and burns and then comes off in during the print so I think that's just patchy uh, print issues not this filament issue and then uh, printed out those uh, parts is uh, it's like a tripod arm pieces you can uh, just snap them together and, and they snap in pretty good and you could build a base on the bottom one and, and put some uh, plate on the top most part to build up uh, like a camera mount or something like that or a tripod for your GoPro or, or something that you have and, and the look of the prints and uh, accuracy in the in parts are very good so there was no issues with uh, with those prints and they looked very good and have a good shine to it and it's a very uh, stable uh, design and, and print so I was quite happy with this and uh, the last and the final print was the Star Wars minion skull model <laughs> I found on Thingiverse and uh, here I had uh, pretty much a very good print but the other side the eye here was uh, pretty uh, pretty messed up uh, because of cooling and, and it drooped to some degree but the rest of the model is is very very clean and there's no uh, real issues it's just this one overhang is, is just trying to print in midair because i didn't have supports and if i would have used support uh, i guess i would uh, get rid of this problem so this is a, a slicing slicing issue more than uh, anything else i believe so that is just on my account this this part of the print is not looking good uh, but other than that it's very shiny and 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 here you can see the infill pattern uh, through the filament so it's uh, somewhat transparent filament and and a model like this is uh, is looking very good and even though this might not be a practical use for Apache filament but there are more mechanical properties that are re re normally required like this part or, or some engineering parts like this one uh, I wanted to do a, a, a model just to fun to see an organic shape uh, more uh, than the, the other ones that I tested that were like more engineered parts so those were the prints I did so that was my review of this filament overall uh, this was my really first uh, patchy print other than one small maker box sample I had before so I had the chance to tune, tune the filament in and, and get it to work quite well I was really happy with every mechanical aspect of the filament and 
even though the blobs of uh, hot burnt uh, filament came through every now and then. It's not a big issue for a mechanical part. You're not looking for looks, I think, when you're doing uh, a patchy print that is a mechanical part. So it didn't really have a production issue <laughs> for people, I think. But other than that, it was really easy and quick to dial in. Uh, I found the temperature really quick and during the temperature tower it printed quite good overall, all through the, the temperatures and uh, I was uh, quite picky to find the correct uh, temperature uh, because the temperatures in the print printing recommended printing temperature range were all working quite good. So it's a forgiving uh, filament in, in regard of printing temperature, I think. It's very strong uh, filament and I try to break the temperature tower and it's quite difficult to break. And, and I think the mechanical properties are, are doing its job. And, and for that, the price uh, may be uh, worth it. I mentioned in the introduction, I found the price to be quite high compared to uh, PLA filaments. But if you need strong uh, heat resistant prints, uh, I guess you have to pay more for that than a normal PLA spool. <laughs> so that's quite expected, I guess. But uh, other than that, I'm uh, quite happy with this filament and, and I would recommend that you try it out. Uh, Matter Hackers has uh, quite a number of colors options on their website and I'll link to their website but I don't have an affiliate link or something like that. It's just a link to their website. So I hope you check it out and, and leave your comments uh, in the video description if you, if you find anything interesting in this video or, or review. So for now I thank you for watching and hope you like or dislike or, or <laughs> or comment on the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So for now, I thank you for watching and see you in the next one.